Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring the Terminator role-playing game. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this tabletop RPG where humanity fights against the autonomous network, Skynet, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to start talking about attack and defense, featuring hand-to-hand -hand combat. There are two types of attacks, hand-to-hand -hand combat and ranged. Each is handled separately, though there are many common elements. When it comes to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat, it involves, of course, punching, kicking, biting, or any other form of inflicting physical harm, while locked up closely to an opposing combatant, including the use of knives, swords, clubs, and other melee weapons. Each melee weapon has its own profile. The information gives us everything we need to know about the typical example of that weapon, including the skill used when performing attacks with that weapon, the amount of damage inflicted by the weapon, the amount of armor damage inflicted to the target's armor, as well as the weight and other special rules. When performing a hand-to-hand -hand attack, effectively every combatant has an area around them equal to their closing speed that they can attack in hand-to-hand -hand combat without the need to take other actions. All attacks require an active skill test regardless of the user's proficiency with a weapon or combat style. The skill test is made as normal against a static target number of 10, to which a range of modifiers may apply. Thus, any result of 10 or more after adjustments indicates a hit. If you hit, you deal damage. So your attack is going to be potentially modified by the target if it uses combat defense or maybe acrobatic defense. Maybe the target is performing a break off this combat round. Perhaps the target is encumbered. And of course, you also have all of the details covering natural weapons. In the case of humans, punching, kicking, headbutting, in the case of animals, teeth and claws. Now, when resolving hand to hand combats, if the roll to hit was a failure, the attacker's action ends immediately and play continues to the next combatant's action. The result of a serious failure during a hand-to-hand -hand attack, that is failure on every die rolled, represents the attacker stumbling or losing grip on their weapon. To reflect this, the only action that combatant may take during the next combat round is the recover action, during which they may do nothing as they compose themselves. If the roll to hit is a success, the defender has been struck by the attack and will suffer damage according to the profile of the weapon. Margin of success is used during attacks to modify the damage inflicted by the strike. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part we are going to talk about defensive maneuvers. I appreciate that although this game moves towards a more cinematic flair, you still have these realistic nuances such as armor damage inflicted by the weapon being used. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or drive for rpg the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. If you want me to run a game for you, please check out the pinned comment as well. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you and see you later.